Hello, my name is Saul. I've been working on this new text mode data browsing tool called Visidata for a few months. Uh, some people have asked how I use Visidata. Well, for instance, I was curious about this whole voting fraud thing. So I downloaded some voter registration data, as you can see here. Got some from Washington State. Let's just open that up. So uh, it's loading now. And while it's loading, let's clean this up a little bit. I'm going to look for everybody who's got the same name and exactly matching birth date. Let me remove some columns with minus here and the title I don't think matters too much. And it's still loading, so actually it's almost done. So then once it's done loading, I'm going to do a uh, frequency analysis on the key fields with G capital F. And that, here we go, it's done now, G capital F. And so now it's going to start populating this. And this is going to take a little bit. So let's go back to the other sheet here, control 6, I can VI to swap back. And while it's loading, I'm going to go ahead, or while it's uh, computing that, I'm going to go ahead and fix some of the fields in the source sheet here. Here's the address broken up into several pieces. If I select all of these and reorder them so that they're actually correct, in the correct order. And I'll add a new field and rename it registered address, D minus to hide all the other fields here. I'll do the same thing to the mailing address here below and get rid of a couple of other fields that I don't care about. Okay, so now if I go back to here you can see that only those fields are here. That's great. And if I go back to this sheet, it looks like it is uh, done as well. Great. Okay, so, oh look, there are many people who have multiple registrations, this, well at least the same name and the same exact birth date. So let me select all those with a regex expression here on this column. And now it's going ahead and it's actually selecting them not just on this sheet, but on the source sheet. And so uh, once this is done here, which is right now, then I will quit out of this and press quote on the source sheet here. In fact, if you press control G, you can see there's 1200 rows selected. So then double quote is going to make a new sheet with only the selected rows. And that's these guys. And you can see, sure enough, here's many duplicates. And so, uh, right. So we've got about 600 people who are registered twice, which as the voting fraud articles are all saying, it's not actually illegal. It's not a problem uh, unless they voted twice. So let's go ahead and look and see who voted twice. And so this is their last voted date. I'm going to press comma to select all the guys who voted on 11, 8, 2016. Another double quote to get just those guys. And, um, okay. Now we've got everybody, everybody's voting record, which there are 424 votes from that group of 1200 registrations. If we can count that. Now we're going to do the same frequency analysis over here again. And oh, look, here are the people who voted twice. Same deal. Let's go back to the source sheet. Here they is a list of their names and birth dates and addresses. These are the people that we need to be looking at for double voting in Washington State. Now, maybe Diane M. Johnson, there actually are two who, for instance, were uh, born the exact same birth date, but we should investigate. Anyway, so this is a simple example of how to use Visidata.